what's up everybody so throughout this video series I've talked about making a pong game and originally my idea was I was going to walk you through every little step of making the pong game but then as I started thinking about it I realized that we technically have all the functionality already in our engine to make a pong game we have collision detection we have the movement that you would need we have variables set up like velocity inside of character and you could use velocity to control the ball and then change the velocity when you detect a collision with a wall or with a paddle. So I'm actually going to challenge you to take what we've done in this series and make a basic Pong game. And there's different ways you could do this. I want to give you the freedom to choose. You could have it be a two-player Pong game where player one plays the paddle on the right side and uses the arrow keys to control the right paddle. And then player two is also controlled by a human, and they use WASD, so they would use WS. They would use those keys to move the second paddle up and down on the left side of the screen, something along those lines. You could also make the second paddle play as an AI, so you could do some basic artificial intelligence code and just say, hey, is the ball above my current position or below my current position, and then call move up or move down. Remember, those are functions we wrote in character. All you have to do is call those functions and then move the paddle appropriately. And then you already have a scoreboard that we have in the game HUD.CS class. So whenever you detect that the ball has hit the left side of the screen or the right side of the screen, you could increase a point. And then, yeah, just go back and forth like that until you reach like 10 points or something, right? I, it's, it really shouldn't be that difficult, and I think it will be a good challenge to you to test your knowledge and really dig in and get to know the code that we've written a lot better. Also don't forget that we have that bool inside of character.cs that lets you switch the physics from being platformer-like to having all directions available to you. So since in Pong you don't jump, you're, you literally can move up and down and there's no physics dragging you back down to earth, make sure you set that bool to false so the physics are working properly. But yeah, I think you should be able to handle it fine. We have all of the code scattered about in the engine already to make this work. The only other thing you might want are some art assets and maybe some audio to use in the game as well. So in the video description for this video, I have some links to websites like the one I'm on currently, opengameart.org. And this website has a bunch of art that people have contributed. So a bunch of different artists have put their stuff up here for anyone to use for free. And I typed in Pong in the search, P-O-N-G, and look, there's already some Pong art right here. Pong graphics is the first result. And then here's a Pong sound effect. And here's more of a classic looking Pong style sprite sheet. So you should be able to find some things on here. They also have backgrounds. I think this is a background right here. Looks kind of cool. Yeah, it looks pretty nice actually. So there's all types of stuff on this website. And there's other websites that have free audio that you can check out. There's even more art websites you can search through. So have at it, everybody. I think this should be a pretty fun project and a good way to test the skills that you've learned in this series. Let me know how it goes. I'd love to see your final Pong game, so be sure to maybe send me a screenshot. I'd love for you to keep me up to date with what you're doing. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching this video series. I had a good time doing this, and I hope it was useful, and you can take something away from all of this. Hopefully you'll stay in touch with me, either by leaving a comment, letting me know what you're up to, or following me on Twitter, joining my mailing list. Let's get connected some way, whatever you feel is more appropriate. And I will see you all in the future. I'm hoping to do some more videos, but I think this will be my last programming video. Um, I'm hoping to maybe switch over and do game design videos or talk about other subjects. So thanks again. I had a good time. I'll see you all in the future. Peace out.